Hello traders, this is DC Trader for another market update in the uh, Philippines as well as the US market and today before we begin I'd just like to uh, shout out to my uh, to NIXX30 for uh, giving me a comment thank you sir for uh, your support to uh, DC Trader and uh, I really am very happy and also for the uh, other subscribers as well as the other viewers who take a look at my uh, daily reviews I really appreciate it and you guys keep me going all right thank you very much and let's begin with our US market take a look at that guys beautiful guys we actually have another all-time high and just this afternoon we have another all-time high okay what's going on here the u.s is really pushing up higher and higher must be they feel that they're comfortable with their new uh administration all right congratulations to our u.s markets now let's go to our markets guys let's take a look now of course for our markets guys today was overall was a little inside day so basically not too exciting but you know okay if this was able to break out today guys this was supposed to be a second entry long trying to go to the upside but unfortunately we weren't able to make that but that's okay now and also the thing that i was um if you take a look at these uh the five minute chart guys you will see here that okay we are actually still between this level this bear micro and this bear micro move and if you take a look at it guys it jump up and run down so basically i cannot really put this one on a bull micro because it did not retest the highs right and i cannot put this a bear micro because we have a bear micro here so and of course so my one for the other for yesterday was around here so basically i would just still maintain this we gotta move it's either this or this i hope this side guys not this side but if we ended up higher here tomorrow and continue to go up then this was a start of a bull micro all right that is for this particular stock and the next stock that we're going to be discussing is ac energy and of course ac energy there's a real new update here there's a very strong down and now we did not retest yet 580 and we are trying to go up good sign guys good sign a little bit promising now let's take a look at the five minutes because looking at this looks like a very exciting that it's going to go back but when you take a look at it from the five minutes okay we had a bull micro a bear and we had a little sideways for one two three days and today we break out so this means that this is a bull micro unfortunately when we reach this particular area here we form a bear micro okay but not necessarily that it's all going to be bad tomorrow we're going to continue down not necessarily but if we don't change this bear definitely we'll reach at 640 but if we change tomorrow for our one for the other tomorrow around this area if we tomorrow we stay above 705 push back here and maintain above 732 then that is a very different story guys but if this does not change it's gonna go back all right now of course we have another way of looking at it why did it stop there we will use the fibonacci and of course we know that we reach above 50 but we cannot break 740 that's why we could be going back down and we ended up 
677. All right, so let's take a look at it tomorrow. Let's see if we can change this one to a bull micro. If not, then so be it. All right, and the next particular stock we're going to be discussing is Ali. Ali looks a little bit promising, of course. Now, if we take a look at the bigger picture of Ali, guys. Okay, from here, we are still following this particular angle, although we change this to this. Our low side is 38.27. All right. Now, if we take a look at Ali in the near picture here, take a look at this. We had a, we had a bull micro on the 14th. We had a bear for two days and we had a bull for one day and we drop on the 20th and of course today we did not continue this bear micro but we changed to a bull micro and that is good and we ended up exactly where the seller started the move okay so that's why that's why i noticed i marked these particular areas guys because this is where the, bear, the bull stop and the bears push down. This is where the uh, this is where the the bull started, the bear stop there and go back down. So this is more like areas where in support and resistance, right? All right. So let's take a look at it. Why did it stop this particular area? Is there something here? Let's take a look. You know, this particular area was important. Take a look at this. This could be a reason why we found buyers here. Down, tried again, could not break lower, went up. Tried to go back down, went up, but could not go higher. That's why it's trying to go back down and now feeling the buyers who bought here are now buying here. Now let's hope tomorrow guys that this will continue its bull micro and not the bear, right? We know this is where the bear started their move. Let's see if the bulls can overrun them and go back to this particular area of 4074. Now the next particular stock is BDO and take a look at that bdo really has some promise guys take a look at that that is good see it move up tried to push down now it's trying to go up now let's take a look at it does this match its five minute area and of course we know that this particular stock has a very strong support at 108 and of course it reaches there on the 19th and on the 20th it tries to go up could not even reach us here ended up higher that is good so you know where if tomorrow if a bdo feels bullish definitely it will touch third uh, 11358 and that is good right so let's see guys that is for BDO and the next particular stock is Converge. Now, of course, Converge, guys, today is what you call an inside day. Did not break up higher. And of course, it went a little lower. And that is. Now for Converge, on the other hand. Take a look at this. So a uh, couple of days here went down, went up tried to go down tried to go up again and today basically it was not able to retest this area right so tomorrow our one for the other is like this now i cannot put the bear micro yet there because it did not break down right so let's see if tomorrow we can go up and above 1570 now, if tomorrow we open up and open at 50.40 and going back down, then this is a 
start of a bear micro all right so let's take a look at it and the next particular stock we're going to be discussing is Dito and Dito today guys it went up because of what because it hit the moving average and that seems promising and of course let's take a look at it closely now of course we are still on these areas here of uh concern we're still on the good side now if you take a look at detail guys on the other hand we did not reach 1007 although we reach here now we tried to go we tried to push down but after we push down buyers here bought again here try to go up now definitely i can't yet put a bull micro yet because it wasn't able to retest 1242 now what we're gonna do for our one for the other tomorrow we can do it like that right and put this a little higher and if it retests um 1241 and stay above there then this is a bull micro but what if tomorrow it opens here and go back down so this is still part of this bear micro and of course the way we're gonna do that let's do a fibonacci and it's around 61.8 okay that's what it is all right that is for this particular stock although this looks pretty bullish but it is still hanging did not retest that area okay and the next particular stock is fgen now of course fgen if you take a look at it we are still in between this area and this area now this candle was once here but we go back down to close here not so promising there and if you take a look at it guys yesterday we had a bear micro today we could not even do a bull micro because it wasn't able to retest 32 and now we're going back lower so the way i'm gonna do it guys i would like to maintain this particular area here now what if tomorrow we're gonna end up here and go higher then yes you are right this is a bull micro but what if tomorrow we end up lower here then this is part of this bear micro and take a look at this we could break down 30 and that is okay so that is not so great oops what was that guys oh sorry about that guys i pressed something that i should not press but that's okay so the next particular stock we're going to be discussing other than fgen is hlcm now for hlcm guys if you take a look at this we are still following this particular angle although today we are going back higher now we could go up higher maybe until this area and it could try to go back down but we'll see all right so let's take a look at hlcm on the bigger picture now take a look at that now the good thing about hlcm right now is it looks like now the thing that i don't like about hlcm it spurred up but this is a bare micro and then we ended up higher right so for my one for the other tomorrow is around here now of course if nothing will change this will go back down hoping that there will be some buyer support around basically these areas around here right so let's take a look at it tomorrow but if this will change tomorrow and go up here that is good right although the bigger picture it's still about to go down but the smallest picture right now although it ended up on a bare micro but on a smaller picture we have a chance to go up a bit 
All right. So let's take a look at JFC, guys. And JFC right now, it is not so good. Although we did not break 185 so far, guys, we are really, really close. Like very, very close. Now let's minimize this, make this one a little bit. There you are. Take a look at that, guys. We are just a tiny bit. And the thing is that there is no sign of a bull micro. Now, what will happen there, guys? It could be that Jollibee may be able to break down. But it does not mean that it's going to... Uh, like, it does not mean that Jollibee is breaking down. That means that it's going down strong it could be that buyers could be buying back here again so let's put uh, one to the other here oops let's see what happens tomorrow guys because i hope that we can stay above 189 and continue to create higher highs but if nothing would change guys definitely this will go below 185.46 and that is not so great and if this breaks down here guys something has changed then we could take this out if it breaks down here then we can take these out and then we could move there and this could go down further all right i will see as of right now we are close we're still in between these two but we're close in here Let's hope that Jollibee will change to a bull micro. The next particular stock is MBT. Now, of course, the only big difference between MBT and BDO, guys, is what? BDO, take a look at that. There's, there's some green candles going up higher. And of course it dropped there and now it's trying to trying to beat the highs. But for MBT guys, it could not even reach to 501. And now it's trying to go back to the low. Big difference, right? So let's take a look at it on the uh, five minute. On the five minutes, guys, we know that this is a good support area and it even retests this area here twice for the uh, buyers but the only thing is that the buyers weren't able to push the sellers out so sellers went back in buyers tried to push the market but only to a bit then sellers drag the market lower and buyers again try to bought try to buy here and although it touches it to the t but it's trying to go back low it's trying to retest this 4805 now what does that mean is that mean it's gonna be going down tomorrow not necessarily but what this means is that if we cannot break above 4808 and stay above there, then definitely it's going to retest 4636. And that is another ah. Uh. So let's see tomorrow, guys, if we can continue this bull micro to the upside for MBT. Now, of course, the next particular stock is MM. Now, MM, on the other hand, guys, it is like a very square looking chart between these two although we're able to break out a bit we tried to go up and now we're trying to go back down i hope we don't retest this particular area if we do 
something has changed but let's see what happens guys look at that currently right now there is a bull micro today started on a bull micro but it ended up on the bear micro in a strong side now if this does not change guys it's gonna hit here and if nothing will change it's gonna definitely gonna hit here and basically those are the only two levels that we should be watching all right so let's see what happens guys on mm and the next particular stock we're going to be discussing is P gold and P gold today looks like it's doing good but we don't know but mostly i feel uh i'm not totally convinced why P gold can make you happy a bit but it makes you sad even worse take a look at that all right so for this particular stop, take a look at this, strong down, up, strong down, up, and strong down. Take a look at these. Now take a look at this area, guys. Take a look at that area. Retest there. This particular area retest here see this area break down what happened retest this area and trying to go back up now the only bad thing about this particular stock is there is a bear micro now the main purpose of this bear micro is we should not go below 39 if we go back down below 39 then you know we're trying to go back to 37 61 now if tomorrow we're gonna break out 39.59 and continue then you know we're trying to go back to 40.84 so let's see what happens guys but other than that key gold is still not yet convincing now the next particular stock we're gonna be discussing is sec b now sec b guys although it tried to push down and but it's ending up high but if you take a look at it on the five minute how does it look like for me the way i see pure gold guys um we are still really stuck in these particular 136 guys and we tried to push down today we try to end up higher but we're stuck in this 136 now if something will really change then we could break to 139 and of course when we break out 139 then definitely we're gonna hit 139 if we can we can stay above here guys then we are confirming that sec b is trying to go up higher and which means we can easily easily put a oops give me a second here there could be a trend channel to the upside right but we'll see tomorrow guys if we can reach to 140. the next particular stock we're gonna be discussing is tech now for tech guys i find we are still continuing our down move now is that good definitely not definitely not good but we cannot do anything about it except we have to follow the market so where is the support really there you go so let's see if this particular company tech can change this from a bear to a bull tomorrow 
So what's one for the other tomorrow? There you go. All right, guys. So thank you very much, guys, for uh, um, taking time for seeing my videos. I hope that you guys can uh, continue your support to my channel. Take care, guys, and see you tomorrow.